Let the court session begin. Respected Judge All the blames put on my client here all of them are all and all. Worn and, all a lie and without any proof you see. The man Majid. Whose case of disappearance? Fellow lawyer has submitted. My innocent client doesn't, he doesn't even know the name of him. And meeting him is something beyond that. He hasn't even contacted him on phone call either. I am. I am actually very shocked about. That someone so senior like Mahin Ibrahim. And such a respectful lawyer. I don't know why and on what basis did she, came forward to fight this case at any cost you know. However. The person she's fighting for admitted that he has no such sort of you know, to prove that all the blames that Rep put on him, nor does he have any sort of proof and, neither does he have witnesses, your honor all these people know now and will know is that, their friend Majid, went to Makdumabad. Why did he go there and, for what reason he went there and, they don't know anything. I feel like this court should not waste their precious time, on this useless and fake case, their one and only purpose is, to fram and disrespect my very, respected client. And just to attempt to harm his, political position and just that a, very useless attempt respected judge, which is why I, request the courtroom that this, this case should be stated, fake, and without a basis this case, should be, eliminated immediately, and my client should respectfully, be released. Thank you. Respected Judge. I think the fellow lawyer is in quite a hurry. That the case should be dismissed. Maybe he forgot that. This case just isn't of Majid's disappearance okay. But there are several cases linked to this one. If they forgot. I will remind them now. Majid went Makdumabad because of his class fellow Zahida. Majid and Zahida. They both liked each other and wanted to marry each other. When this thing, Mr. Dord, and his son Anise got to know about it, they both with some plan in mind. They called Majid to Makdumabad and disappeared him. Not only this, but when Zahir reporter from Makdumabad when he posted a video and revealed Majid was murdered, so a few days later that reporter was also killed. The day Zahida called Majid to Makdumabad that day. And that same day she died. And then her death was stated to be due to an illness and... And she was buried. Respected judge this case isn't simple as lawyer states it to be. I am pleading the courtroom. That along with Majid's disappearance there. Should be an investigation on Zahir and Zahida. Objection my honor. Respected Judge I. Respected. Fellow lawyer. Is a very respected. And innocent. Women's respect is. She's harming that. Respected Judge she should at least. At least take care of the thing that. The girl that she is right now. Mentioning here your honor. She I no longer in this world now. And besides this is. She tries to you know help out women and tries her best to. To protect the rights of women your honor she helps them a lot. She should at least be careful of the fact that she should. She should not try to disrespect her. In such a big courtroom she. Should be careful. Respected judge I am not disrespecting anyone. In fact the rights. I am putting them in front of the court. Can fellow lawyer deny that. That Majid is missing. That Zahida is dead now. Can he deny that now? That they were class fellows. And they liked each other. They can't deny it. Because their phone records are enough to prove that. That they both liked each other. I will say that once again. That their client. Whom he is calling so innocent and respected. And trying to manipulate the court. He is not only involved. In one but many murder cases. And I am pleading the court. Mr. Anise should not be released now. 
because he belongs to such a family background that if he gets released now, then this case can be affected. Thank you. What do you want to say Mr. Lawyer? Should her request be accepted? Respected Judge Mai. My fellow friend who was talking earlier she was but, she should be careful that. That my client's family background is very respected, and peaceful family indeed, his sister's death that the fellow lawyer is making a matter of murder, I am in objection of that your honor, respected judge if the courtroom will allow me to. I will bring the medical reports of his sister's death. I want to present them in the court, respected judge I, I am really sure that here, every person who is sitting is very familiar with my client's family and background. Your Honor the family also has a political thing going on. And arresting Mr. Anis at this moment. At that moment, when his political campaign is going on, now we are already, we are already very pressed about that issue. That by arresting him you are taking away his basic right. If the court still wants to, this fake and baseless blame that's been put on, if you want to investigate it still then my client, is here 24 hours for you, and, in these investigations, every kind of problem and, and other types of, corporation, is ready for it, respected judge arresting him now, is equal to, putting a political and respectful man's, position in danger your honor. Your honor, I feel like in the eyes of our respected fellow lawyer, those people are well respected who belong to rich family backgrounds and travel in big cars who walk around influenced people. I would like to remind him that respected people aren't rich people, but they are those people whose character is high. And I would like to plead the court that till this case isn't resolved till then, till then the criminal should be addressed by his name. They should not be called respected. Thank you. My respected stays the same way no matter what. You can call him whatever but he has a respected place and a political family. But in this courtroom, he is a criminal. Look you both are senior lawyers. Do I have to tell you that you should address the court while talking? Refrain from cross-talking please. Your honor I am sorry. I, I am truly sorry. Look madam lawyer. This case is on an initial point. At this point, we cannot calculate anything. Maybe, maybe your perspective is right, and maybe your perspective isn't right. In my opinion right now you should give, give the court a chance to understand the case. Yes I completely admit that, that this case, is of a very sensitive type. We cannot ignore that at all. And that is also correct, that in these cases, Finding a witness is very hard. The court has to make a decision looking at everything. There should be something in front of the court, by seeing which the court can make an opinion on it. I am not disclosing this case. If you have a witness to prove your point here then I can. Then bring them in the next session. In second case, the court can freely give off the decision of letting the criminal go. Till the next session the courtroom is dismissed now. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. This is Mahin Ibrahim talking isn't it? Yes who is this? I am your well-wisher. I want to protect you from a big trouble. You know Mr. Daoud's son the way you have. Done a case against Mr. Ani's right. Get back from this case immediately okay, otherwise the things that will happen to you, you wouldn't have even thought of them. Okay so you have called me to threaten me. You are giving me a threat. Oh no no not at all. You guys have this one problem. You guys don't know the difference between threat and advice. I am trying to give you an advice to make you understand. Look whoever you are. Then send this message to him that if he is that powerful then then he should not threat me like this over a call. Instead, have some courage, and come talk to me face to face. I am sure that, 
the man who can kill his daughter over over such a tiny matter then he will never have enough courage to come talk to me don't stay in some misunderstanding till now the people you have fought cases against they were some other people mr daud has a thousand followers who on his one signal they can sacrifice their life for them if you would have done some research on me before calling then you would not have bothered calling at all i am not one of those who back off due to some threats tell mr dord this case will work and mr anees will be punished as well if you can save him then do so Can I meet Bono? Inês. 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 Please forgive me Bono. That day I don't know what. I said that day out of anger. You weren't at fault at all. And you have been wrong. Someone else. Sin how can I punish you for it? Madam Mahin. Whatever decision you will make I'll do it. I will marry Bono. I cannot leave her alone like this. But I don't want to marry you. I cannot spend my life with such a man who who doesn't trust me at all. Bono. What are you saying? You know that I that I love you Bono. I have no need for your love Zafa. And not even your support. And this pity you have for me and you are marrying me for it don't. No Bono. I am not pitying you at all. You you are my fiance. Uncle and aunt They fixed our marriage. Don't you remember? Okay, Zafa. Wasn't I your fiance when you let me all alone? Tell me now. There is no difference between you and the village people. Who put someone's sin on their daughter's right? I don't want to marry you, Zafa. I don't want to marry anyone because every man is the same. sister I want to be just like you I want to study and be strong like you are I can't spend a life like those village women who whose life decisions are in the hands of men sister I want to live with you for forever Arusa think one more time I don't want that later on you regret this decision no sister I want to live with you and only you. I want to be strong like you. If I leave you now I will regret it a lot. I don't want to be a slave to anyone. And that is my last decision. And please tell Zafa that go away and never come to see me again. Bono please. Listen to me. Thank you.
marry me. What happened? The thing you wanted that happened. Ashar Ibrahim is punished and your sister got justice. Will you still not think about your life now? I don't know. What I don't know. Look I know you faced a lot of hardships in life. But life isn't over yet. Maybe there are a lot of happy things waiting in your future. I feel like you should give life one more chance. I don't want any happiness. In fact I don't want anything from this life. You helped me. I am very grateful for that. But please. Don't expect the things from me that I can't fulfill for you. I will go now. Sit. What kind of crazy women are you? You're not understanding. I have fallen in love with you. I truly want you by heart. I want to see you happy. Does that not change anything for you? Whatever happened, happened. We cannot change that now. But we can change our future right we can do that. And I will change your fate. At least give me a chance now. At least try me for once. Please. Thank you. Hello. Yes madam. Madam I will be there on time. Don't you worry I will be there on time. Don't be worry. Okay goodbye. Respected Sir Mai. I have presented the reports for you here. According to these reports. My respected lawyer. All the blames that she put. All of them. Are false and baseless. So I plead the court now, that you should impose this decision. That on this false statement, she should apologize, so that, in future, this mistake isn't repeated. Yes Mahin Man. They have. Provided the medical certificate. Where is your witness? Yes respected judge, the witness that I am about to present here today. After listening to them, the court won't have any problem taking a decision. And the fellow lawyer all these, all these fake certificates. They are asking for an apology. They would have to apologize themselves. That is okay. But whoever is your witness call them. What are you waiting for? Yes respected judge, she is on her way she will be here. What is this? The time for court is very important. To make the presence of the witness on time is important. It's your responsibility, your honor. The absence of her witness in the courtroom actually proves that this. Nor does she have any sort of witness and, and not any proof, they don't have. She doesn't have any proof, she only has blames to put. Your honor I feel like the courtroom. The courtroom now should just should not allow anyone and give anyone such a chance to disrespect my client. Now what will you say? Respected judge she's coming here after a lot of struggle. And because it is courtroom's duty to give peace and justice. And sometimes in giving justice there are. It takes some time so I will plead the jury that they grant me some time. You are right but Teresa decorum of work here. If in the next five minutes, if you fail to bring on a witness, so we will have to stop the investigation till next session and we will have to set him free. Your Honor. 
I still can't understand this one thing that. That we. That what are we confused about in this courtroom here? Your honor if she has any proof of any sort, you know then she should bring it forward. That in Majid's disappearance my client had no hand in it but if she thinks it is then give me the proof or witness of it, by circulating the topic here and there you are, I can't understand that this. What is she trying to prove here, your honor? I think that we should now. Waiting more and more is, is useless now, now if you, you want to continue this case then put it to the next session. I think that has to be done now. Okay. Respected judge. My witness is here. If the jury allows me to, the witness should be presented. Yes you are allowed to. Yes who is this? Introduce them. Respected judge, today this woman will change the history of court. After her speaking here, no father, husband or brother, on his sister, wife, or daughter, they won't kill them like this. Doesn't our religion give us the right that we, that we marry someone we love? Is the result of this wish death now is it? Does our society or our court, doesn't they allow a girl to, express what she wants. When religion, society and court gives the permission then. Then how can a brother or father murder her? Your Honor. We. Fellow respected judge has. Been talking we aren't here for that. This thing she can. She can do that outside the court. Then she. Why is she wasting the court's time and all of this your Honor? Objection over yield. Madam please introduce the witness. You are present in respected court. Whatever you know, tell them. Whatever I will say, I will speak the truth. Master, I am the unlucky mother of Zyda, and my bad luck is Alice that I am the, this, this is my son here, Master, without the permission of Mokdum, Master I actually, it is the first time that I have stepped out of my house. All my life, I served him. No no. Not service. I had submitted to him. Followed his rules. He is not only my master but he is also my well-wisher. I said yes to everything he said. I don't have any sort of wish or personal desire or anything. Just whatever master says, I have. To believe it, as my truth. My. My Zyda. My daughter used to say to me. Dear mother. At least talk from your heart sometimes to me. At least sometimes listen to your heart. But. In my heart there is. There is only one thing and that's master's choice. And his happiness. And I. Used to stay. Quiet all the time didn't say anything. Zyda had no fault in anything. She told me that she used to like that guy in her university, they used to study together right? She told me but I silenced her there and then. I said, for the sake of your father's pride and respect stay quiet. But, she had loads of respect and love for her father. They said yes to everything she said. She told him what she truly felt in front of him. That was the only mistake she made. I don't care what she said and what she didn't say. The daughter and father started having a huge fight. And then he came in. Maybe he was intoxicated. He pointed his gun and shot my Zyda. He murdered my daughter he.
your honor. Right now it has come to my knowledge that, Mr. Mokdoom's wife is currently. Her mental health is not okay and she is, under treatment. So my request to the jury will be that, any of what she is saying at the moment, shouldn't be considered at all till she is you know. Till she is being treated. Yes master. Yes master. I have gone crazy now. From the moment I saw in front of my eyes, I saw my daughter's murder in front of me. I am not okay master. Master. But I am not lying at all. He murdered my daughter master he. What mother would give a full statement? Against her only son master. He is my son. I love him. But he he is the one who murdered my Zyda he did he. He murdered her he. Zyda had no fault in it. She could ran off and married that guy master. She wanted to convince him. Brother and father that's her fault. That was her only fault. Then he killed my Zyda he killed her. And now I want justice for my daughter for my Zyda. He should be. He should be punished for his crime master. I only want that. That when I go in front of Zyda after dying. So then I can say that in this world, there was no one with her. But her mom was there. But her mom was there. Her mom was there. Master look look here this is. Look this is the blood of my daughter. The blood of my daughter. Your Honor. I think that after this witness, there is no need for any other witness or proof. From this witness here, the decision of Zahir and Zahida's murder can be made. But if the court wants to do more then it's... It's okay to do the post-mortem of Zahida and find it out. That's all. Master please forgive me. Master today I, for the first time without your permission, stepped out of the house without your permission forgive me and that also I went to go speak against my own son master I my beloved son my dearest I am not at all happy on his punishment but at least I am happy now that my my Zyda got justice now. Now after I die I can. I would be able to show my face to her now. Master please forgive me. Master please forgive me. Please forgive me. God.
as all of you guys know now that dear uncle seats heir one and only heir his son Makdumanis is now is now being punished for his sins in jail at the moment the punishment the law has given him that he will definitely get but due to all his sins my dear uncle has to him he has his seat chair and from home has kicked him out on the wish of Mr. Makdum Daoud Shah. Being the son of Mr. Altaf Shah I stand here. The one and only heir of this seat. Mr. Makdum Altaf Shah. That's me, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. I will try my level best, that by sitting on this seat I, by walking the steps of my ancestors I will try my best to serve and help all. All of you guys, go Makdu Maltov, yes you are very kind. All hail Makdu Maltov. Thank you very much. When you get free think on it Mahin. You will realize I am not the only criminal here. You are also a criminal. You have made me worthless Mahin. People now. Started recognizing me on your name rather than mine. I had promised myself that I won't talk to you ever again. But today. I am breaking this promise with myself. Not that I have any sort of sympathy for you now. Your crime is of no sort that I develop any sympathy for you. But you were right back then. That the only criminal isn't you. I am also the criminal. And this realization of the crime is eating me alive now. If you are suffering the punishment of jail, then I am standing a criminal in the eyes of subconscious. Through this letter I am. I am accepting all my crimes now. I accept that I made a lot of mistakes. On your hopes I never. I never fulfilled them. I couldn't become the type of wife you wished for. I couldn't give you enough time. The amount you wanted to give. Maybe I could not fulfill all my responsibilities as, as a wife should. But that's not the truth. That I somehow left you behind, and now I am crossing you. Asha. We both weren't in some sort of competition or anything. We were just like, tied to each other with the thread of love and trust. Then how did we separate like this? Maybe you forgot. You were the one who said, that in love one plus one is equal to one. Then how did we become two? How? How did you think you were left behind? And I am passed by you. That is not even possible. If you ever felt that way then, the only reason for that would be that all your promises on how you love me were all lies nothing else. And my crime is also that that I trusted you and fell prey to, to your fake love. Your punishment, will end in a few days. But the punishment of my crime, I will have to suffer all my life. Hello yes Sajid.
important news that the famous social media activist Mahin Ibrahim, the ban on her NGO has officially been removed, and now is, it is official that to fund Mahin Ibrahim's NGO there have, been more and more, all of the blames were incorrect, we will also let you know what the people, think on this decision of the government, important news that the famous social media activist, it is official that to fund Mahin Ibrahim's NGO there have, it is official that to fund Mahin Ibrahim's NGO there have, all of the blames were incorrect, they couldn't prove anything. Mum mum come play with us please. Now we will catch sister okay.